Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to model dividing whole numbers by fractions. We have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. And again, this is whole numbers divided by fractions. So let's jump right into number one, where we have five divided by three fourths. So in this problem, we're taking five wholes and splitting it into groups of three fourths and seeing how many groups of three fourths we can make out of those five wholes. So we need to start with the five wholes and I used circles to represent that. Now you can use any shape to represent a whole. I generally use circles, squares, or rectangles. I find those to be the easiest to work with. So once we have our five holes, we need to split them into fourths. This denominator here tells us that. So as evenly and as best we can, we split each of them into fourths. It does not have to be perfect. Mine definitely isn't but we will still get the correct answer as long as they are divided into fourths. So once we do that, we need to see how many groups of three fourths are within those five holes. And we can count off like this in order to do it. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. That's one whole group of three fourths. One, two, three fourths. There's another group. One, two, three fourths one, two, three fourths, one, two, three fourths, almost done here, one, two, three fourths, and we don't quite have enough for another whole group of three fourths, we have two pieces left over, that's okay, that's going to be the fractional part of our answer, the remainder, so it doesn't work out perfectly every time. So now we need to see how many whole groups of three fourths we have. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's the whole number part of our answer, six whole groups of three fourths within those five holes. Now we have these two pieces left over, so that's the numerator of our fractional part of our answer. The denominator is going to be three because we need three pieces in order to make a whole group of three fourths, so two thirds. Now this numerator here tells us what our denominator is going to be, but we need to know why it's three. It's because we need three pieces to make a whole group of three fourths, and we only have two out of those three pieces needed to make another whole. So always check to see if we can simplify. The only common factor between two and three is one. So this answer is in simplest form. So we're done six and two thirds. So on to number two, where we start with two holes, and I have two whole rectangles here, divided by two fifths. So we need to see how many groups of two fifths are within two holes. So the first thing we need to do after we have those two holes is cut into fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's count off and see how many groups of two fifths we can make. So this is one fifth, two fifths. That's one whole group. One fifth, two fifths. One, two fifths. Come across to circle that hole there. One fifth, two fifths, another whole group. One fifth, two fifths. Now this one's a little different than number one because we don't have anything left over. So it works out to be a whole number. So let's see how many whole groups we have. One, two, three, four, and five. So our answer is five. So there you have it. There's how you model dividing whole numbers by fractions. Now, if you're looking for other situations as far as dividing by fractions, I drop links to my other videos down below, both with models and without models. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.